Hey pals, Ross here, and recently the way I eat pizza has come under attack. Now, I want to clarify that this is the way I eat frozen pizzas. You know, if, if I order a pizza, of course I'm going to get it cut. I'm going to I'm gonna get, you know, the beef on the left, no sauce, no cheese, you know, like that that one old video. That's, that's how I eat my pizzas. But when it comes to a frozen pizza, there's only one way you're actually supposed to eat it. And that's, that's, that's what this video is going to show you. It, it, take this as a step-by-step -step guide, if you would, uh, on, on how to eat a pizza. That's, that's, that's what I'm bringing you today is, is Ross's guide to, to how to eat a pizza. So the logical next step is going to be to get to the store and buy a pizza. Now this, this step's not important at all. So mission was a success. I was able to get the pizza. Uh, I was very nervous getting it. I thought someone would see me, possibly ask questions. You know, the usual, but uh, very windy outside. My hair got my hair got very fluffed up. But uh, yeah, now now we can get back on to what we were doing before. I keep looking at the middle of my camera when when I need to look that way. But uh, yeah, let's let's go make a pizza. All right, round two this time. Yeah, you come on over here and boom. Now there's a fresh Tombstones pizza ready to go right into the oven. Although I, I do gotta get the plastic off and I, I don't I don't think I can do it with one hand. But hey, pizza stone. No, I don't, I don't know if it's because of the force that I did it. But the pizza stone is wiggling, but the pizza is in. I'm gonna set this to... Uh, so the timer said 17 minutes, but I'm going to put it to 16 because it normally takes me a minute to get out here. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just be here. I'm going to start dan I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance and wait. What an absolutely beautiful, beautiful noise to hear. And there, there it is. So removing it from the oven, you just want to get it right on the plate. You just kind of push it, boom, boom, just, just like that. It's mwah, magnifique. Now I'm going to let it cool. All right. It's been plenty of time. I've let the pizza cool. Sorry, uh, the phone, the phone's very low, so I kind of, I kind of got to get low, but it helps out. So here it is, you know, you have, you have the perfectly cylinder pizza. Now what I've been being told is I need to use something to cut this, but why why would you do that when watch? It's just like a giant cookie. I'm going to eat this whole thing, and that is going to be my meal for the day. And I will regret this tomorrow I will I will regret this tomorrow. But th this is it. Why like if I cut this in half I'll eat one half and then I'll come back later and eat. But what I can also do is when I'm tired of this, I'll take plastic wrap, I'll wrap it up, I'll put it in the fridge, and then when I'm hungry again, I'll, I'll throw it back in the oven for a few minutes and reheat it. It also, it always feels like there's a next bite. Like, looking at this, it's just so obvious. It's so easy and obvious. I mean, I'm probably not going to eat anything else for the rest of the day. <clears throat> or, like I said before, if I get tired of this, I'm just going to wrap it up, and I'm going to have it later. Like, it's it's that easy. Like, And guess what? I'm not going to have to wash a pizza cutter. I'm not going to have to wash a knife. Like, I'm just going to enjoy my pizza, and I'm going to love this. And I don't feel like I should be judged for the way I eat a pizza. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. <clears throat> Trying something different here. I'm. I just wanted to clear my name and you know, get a little something extra out of it. So I hope you enjoyed. 
And I, uh, <clears throat> I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning. Have a good one.